going on, my beautiful bingers? It is another Saturday, so y'all know what that means. It's Saturday commentary day, baby. <laughs> I try to say that too fast. I try to say it too fast. It's another Saturday commentary day, baby. What's good? We are back, all right? Y'all read the title, so you guys already know what we are watching. This is Disney Channel Original Movie Under Wraps. This is another underrated movie, and I haven't seen it in a long time. So I'm definitely excited to jump on right on in with this one. But it's the month of October, so what I do need your guys' help with, I do need some, you know what I'm saying, some, some Halloween-themed movies, because i never really been big on Halloween. I gotta be honest with y'all, I've never been big on Halloween, so I never really took a deep dive into a bunch of Halloween, like, movies, outside of, like, this one and a couple others. So, you know what I'm saying, y'all give me the, the scariest Halloween movie that y'all can think of, and maybe I'll do it this month. Maybe I won't. I don't know, we'll see. But if you do leave a suggestion, make sure you use the hashtag Binger, so that way I can surf through it in the comment section a lot easier and if i don't get it to if i don't get to it this halloween maybe next halloween you know what i'm saying i'm not going nowhere y'all i'm going to be doing this forever and for those that are new here i want y'all to know that this is a commentary that means i'll be talking if you don't like that it's your time to hit the exit right now don't complain because you sat and watched this whole video that was your decision i don't got a gun to your head you feel me but anyway shout out to my guy antonio man for making this even possible he is my editor you guys be sure to go give him a follow link is always in the description box always got to give my guy a shout out because without him literally i cannot be as consistent as i have been and my guy does a good job you know what i'm saying so show my guy some love instagram in the description uh, all my social media links are in the description as well but enough of the talking let's get straight into this commentary <laughs> I remember being a kid and watching this intro and being creeped the hell out. But I do know that this song right here was jamming. I don't know if Disney ever used this song for another movie or a TV show, but this song right here I like. Talked about it and you're gonna sleep in your own room tonight again, okay? Oh yeah, I forgot. They had a scary movie at the beginning of this movie. Man, this movie used to freak me out as a kid. I'm just now starting to remember. Maybe he could sleep in our room just one more night. The dad's like, hell no, he can't sleep in our room. I'm trying to have sex. <laughs> What in the R.L. Stein is going on here? That's better. He was like, thank you. Now I can smack your mom from the back. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dang! Oh. <laughs> is it your leg? I thought it was my leg. Yo, Gilbert played his role in this movie. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be throwing up in the lot. I really believed he was scared. Like, he had me scared. What do you think happens in a horror movie? Horrible things. Okay. Logically, duh. Haven't exactly got around to collecting from him yet. Gilbert has been delivering papers for free and never checked my man for his paper? Two years, Two years of back payment? Hell no. Hell no. He gonna have to pay up. It's because he moved to Toronto. Oh, really? You know, he never writes. <laughs> Yo, this kid is hilarious. <laughs> this kid is hilarious. <laughs> Mr. Kubot? Mr. Kubot looked dead as hell. That's really messed up that he just let his dog chase some kids off of his porch. Like, come on, son. What are you doing, sport? Oh. <sighs> Step daddy don't get no love, boy. Don't get no love. I ain't gonna lie to you. When old boy came around the corner talking about, hey, sport, he made the face. Marshall made the face of like, hey, bro, I know what you did last night. You violated my mother. I can't even look at you in the face right now. I never realized this whole room is full of Halloween crap. You know, now that I think about it, Disney was making a lot of movies with divorced parents. I don't know if they were trying to prepare me or what. <laughs> Divorce ain't funny. <laughs> oh, man. He was old, organs failed, these things happen. Now, what about you? She real life said he was old, organs failed. <laughs> That's funny. She takes her dolls to the movies, so... Oh, your mom is crazy. She buys them popcorn. Once. She did that once. This fool mom has dolls that she takes to the movies and she buys them popcorn. No wonder her son turned out the way he is. Her name's not Esmeralda. She's role playing. Go with it. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. His mom was off the hook. And on a school night, 
You'll be back by 8.30. I'll even set my watch. Yo, the fact that these kids was able to stay outside till 8.30 is blowing my mind too. You have no idea. I'm telling y'all about that. Them street lights, them street lights came on well before 8.30. It had to be at least like 5, 5.30 or something like that. 8.30? These kids was living a completely different life than me. Maybe I should just wait out front. I'll be Think about that. They would be outside. We, I used to be outside all day with no cell phone. Moms, I could have been anywhere. Could have been kidnapped. She wouldn't have known until them damn street lights came on. That's crazy. A few paintings, a mirror, and. <laughs> we'll just tell your mom you broke into a dead guy's house and left them there. No. You definitely don't want to tell Esmeralda that. You don't want to tell her that. Out of all the people, don't tell Esmeralda. Wait a minute. If your mom's got the key... Why did we break in? Can we have to break into the basement? What fun is it to use a key? Exactly. Yo, you gotta find some new friends. You gotta find some new friends. They just... <sighs> she had access to the key that whole time. But she'd rather y'all break and enter. That's crazy. I tell you what, I lose my glasses, I'm screwed for real. I'd have no choice but to go back there, even if nobody wants to go back with me. Because I can't see without these. Now what you gonna do with that baby flashlight? That's exactly what she said. <laughs> Marshall, help me Man, he a better friend than me, cause low key, I might have had to leave him on the ground. I would have had to explain to Esmeralda, like, I'm sorry, uh, you might have to get a replica doll of your son, cause he's not coming back. <laughs> Fellas, I need y'all to take notes, alright? If she ain't walking like this when you done, you didn't do your job. She need to be weak in the knee. Uh, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Stumbling, falling over. I be like, bro, put me down. You just pissed and we know you didn't wash your hands. I'm, you don't even got hands. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fast Gilbert left him. Calendar, an alarm, a stopwatch. You can program an appointment. Dang, bro, stop flexing on him like that. Goodness gracious. Gosh, he smells horrible. Oh, oh, hell no. Don't touch my hair. Oh, hell no. They really tried to humanize this whole scene. Just the music that they're playing right now. It's just boom, 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 boom. It's all peaceful. Like, it almost makes you want to have a heart for this ugly joker. It's kind of like talking. Hey, it's more than my dad says in a month. Damn, why you had to go there with your dad, though? That's more than your dad says in a month? He don't talk to you! Your parent. That's the one thing about these Disney movies, is that the parents never talk to their kids. I'm busy, Todd. Well, I know, but I was uh, just... Todd? Well, I was, no, I was just wondering if... Don't make me hurt you, Todd. <laughs> Yo, shoot or shoot, but you see how consistent? Like, he was, he was trying to be on her. He was really trying to press her bumper just now. Shoot or shoot, baby. Yo, my boy is real life sweating right now. It must be real hot under them lights. Uh, buried in an elaborate coffin called a sarcophagus. Ooh. <laughs> sarcophagus. Ooh. And his soul will be lost forever. <laughs> I'm That's hilarious. Want to see me pick my scab? <laughs> this boy. <laughs> Want to see me pick my scab? The one they loaded all Mr. Kubat's stuff into. Yo, the way that this kid talks, it almost looks like it hurts. The one that can the rest of stuff it though. Impounded. Everything? Yes. The IRS confiscated it to pay. Ah, that's why he faked his death. Let me tell y'all something. The one people, the people that you don't want to have smoke with is the alphabet boys. You don't want to have smoke with them. Because they're going to come collect when it's time to collect. Whether you alive or dead, they're going to get theirs. Believe that. Hi, welcome to Dairy Freeze. May I take your order? Oh, I remember this scene. It was so funny. Okay, so that's two double cheeseburgers, a small fry, and an orange soda. <laughs> How you get that for what he's saying? Okay. Okay. Why is that 
not a meme. I feel like that would fit perfectly somewhere. Okay. Oh, mommy, look at that ugly meme. <laughs> Children tell the truth, boy. If a child calls you ugly, you ugly. Born special. Well, this guy is really special. Some people are just born special. This guy is really special. <laughs> that little girl murdered him. <laughs> Don't get smart with me. <laughs> she said, "Don't get smart with me, fool." These floors, please. But you don't gotta be rude, though. Where did she go? Did she just run off? What happened? Why she don't see this man standing there, wrapped in toilet paper? That's where all that toilet paper went that y'all bought up from the stores. This what y'all was doing at the house, huh? Just selfish. Thank goodness. This is how you know with somebody telling a lie, this is what they sound like. <laughs> Yo, shout out to the actor that had to do this. You bodied this part. You bodied it. Tell her he's a foreign exchange student. Well, my mom would believe it. Your mom plays with dolls that she takes to the movies. Your mom believes anything. And why did Marshall have to put his mom out there like that? I just thought about what he just said. He said, my mom is used to big clunky guys stomping around the house. He violated his mom just now. Completely violated her. His mom would have OnlyFans in today. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with OnlyFans. I just want y'all to know that. It's nothing wrong with that. Matter of fact, if you got an OnlyFans, put it in the comment section. I'll give you a couple dollars. I got you. Quickly, so she can be on her way. <laughs> so she could be on her way. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Get her out of here. Out of here. Clean this room. It's really starting to stink. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this man had a different pose every time she turned around. How you not notice that? Ugh, what is that? Hi, karate. Mm. I think you're going to need the whole bottle. You're going to cover his funk and hi, karate. Just like a little boy would do. We ain't gonna take a shower, nope. Just gonna spray ourselves down with axe. That's how you cover it up. I forgot about the all by myself record. I used to sing this as a kid all the time. Oh. Anymore, hallelujah. Don't wanna be by myself. You're never alone when you're with Jesus. Take him to church real quick, Billy. Take him to church. All by myself anymore. Hallelujah, yes. Take him to church. I mean, how hard can it be? It's not like he got up and walked away. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, Mr. Kubot, he looked like Vision from the Avengers. Yeah, he looks like him. Probably got married forever in your day. But now love doesn't seem to mean much anymore. Dang. Most of my friends' parents are either divorced or they hate each other. Woo! Disney, every parent, they were broke. He said all of his friends, all of his friends, their parents are divorced. That's all he know. He said love is taboo. Oh, he remember at the hospital seeing that woman give her mom flowers. So he trying to give his boy flowers to make him feel better. I ain't gonna hold you. That touched me right there a little bit. I didn't realize that as a kid, but wow. No! <laughs> this man tried to pull a sneak attack on the dog. I can't believe you let him get away. What am I going to do, hand? How was y'all all able to just assemble like this at late at night? Don't tell me you don't have some embarrassing pajamas at home. I don't wear pajamas. I sleep in the nude. Wait, why was that added in a Disney movie? This man can't control his hormones at all. Born to be by her side in this life and the next. Think Harold's a high priest? Looks like it to me. Harold is bowing down to his queen. The high priest swore vows Again, take notes, fellas. <laughs> They're both dead. What celibacy? No chicks. Uh. I can. What celibacy? Hold up. 
You'll get used to it. They got the little girl talking about she's sleeping in. Oh, damn. And she just came out his whole life just now. He said, what celibacy? She said, no chicks. He said, dang, that's hard. She said, well, you'll get used to it. She came for him. The only way to keep Harold in the room was to let him watch TV. Harold watched TV. Pretty woman. Ghost. Sleepless in Seattle. Every sappy movie he could get. <laughs> Yo, this kid got so much anger because his mom is not with his dad. He's just a mummy. It's not like he's a real friend, okay? No, but you're treating him like he's your daddy. Like, that's how you're really looking at him. Tell us everything you know about that truck. <laughs> he like, I'll tell you what you need as long as you give me what I need. Good, what it say? I don't know, I can't. <laughs> that is the best response ever. I don't know. I can't read. Where's your parents at? Why are you walking around by yourself? <laughs> wow. They got him dressed like how uh, Scooby-Doo was dressed. <laughs> this man really shook his head talking about something. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I mean, that was a cheap laugh, but they, they got it. I give it to them. That was a cheap laugh. Lift me higher. Ooh. Ah! Uh -oh. Marshall? Marshall? Stupid, stupid. <laughs> she like, you threw my boyfriend. Come on. No. I'll see you. As loud as both of them are, they would have definitely heard them. Because they were loud. So how do you like my costume? Well, what are you supposed to be? I know. Mrs. Howell from Gilly. Man, what is this fool dressed as? I'm Dennis Rodman. He's Dennis Rodman! That's hilarious. Okay, so you're saying the feathers are too much? Yeah, look. That is hilarious. You know, stepmothers and stepfathers are the only adults who ever care about making a good impression on kids. Wow. They, they wow, that's the truth, though. That is the truth. Talk to me about it, I guess, if you wanted to. Man, that fool about the malfunction. Talk about, you talk about my feelings? Talk about it with you? Girl, I haven't even told you I liked you yet. I don't know if we're going to be talking about Mom Dukes and her. Probably not. Went to the bathroom a few minutes ago. I ran into four Freddy Kruegers, two Pinheads, and a Martha Stewart. No, you don't understand. <laughs> he said a Martha Stewart. <laughs> they really playing the hell out of all by myself in this movie. No wonder I was singing it so much as a kid. Say yeah, don't wanna be all by. Go ahead. Don't wanna be. Maybe it works. She dancing with somebody's husband, for sure. For sure she dancing with somebody's husband. letting random people walk up to you and take your mask off and not say nothing they are really playing the hell out of this song like for real for real i didn't heard this hook 16 times now no ma'am he's celibate well <laughs> look at look whose mama is this well if that's your husband then who is this hold on time out time out How, who was you supposed to be dancing with if that's her husband Yo, the way that this boy screams. Harold had to sacrifice himself for the team. It's the only way it was gonna work. I have to help. If anything happens to you, I lose my best customer. Heck, let's be honest, you're my only customer. I was about to say, there was nobody that came into that bookstore. You know, in today's climate, that grown man would not be able to just ride around with these little kids like that. I mean, he really shouldn't have been allowed to do it then, but you know, we don't gotta talk about that. I'm just gonna wait in the hearse. What? Gilbert said he don't want no part of this. I want no smoke. It's okay. <laughs> he like, bro, it ain't been okay. You always get me into some bullshit. I just want to be at the house chilling with my mom and her dogs. Body slap. Body slap. This fool want to be WWE so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Now we gotta find somewhere to get you home. I know. It's good to see you too. <laughs> like, bro, that's not what I'm trying to tell you. 
Sorry. Bro, that's the worst. If you got an itch and you can't scratch yourself, oh, that feeling. How come I had to be the one to climb all the way up here? Because you're taller. That's a stupid reason. <laughs> but you're doing it, though. Hey, let's go. We've got to push this out front and see if we can get it into Bruce's I don't purse. think so. The fact that he really thought he had that much time to push that big-ass sarcophagus to a car. Unfortunately, the IRS started to investigate me for tax evasion, and I wasn't about to go to jail. Ain't nobody trying to go to jail for that tax evasion, but mm -mm. do your taxes. Pay your taxes. Friends will go to the police. You'll never get away with it. He like, oh, these friends? Oh, yeah, we got them. You guys are never making it out of this building, actually. You see what happens when there's no real communication? Oh, you mean give us a lift home? <laughs> with your children? They just be running the damn streets. I didn't think so. That's it. Can you hear us? Quit yelling, I'm fine. Yo, this man really pulled out a gun, huh? Take your friend. He got the revolver. What? Well, if something ever happened to you. Oh, she being vulnerable. She about to tell her. She about to tell him. It didn't, so... Uh, uh, okay. She swallowed her pride. I mean, old buddy isn't dead, though. Like, all he did was throw him across the room. He can... Technically, he could have got up. Oh, no. <laughs> He's like, bruh, if you wake up one more damn mummy, I'm out of here. Oh, that mummy love. Nothing like that mummy love. I love me, mommy. Man, that kid don't even cry for his own mom. Or his dad. I'm gonna miss you, Harold. He had real love for that mummy. Real love. Aww, oh, he wants you to have his chain. Does, does this match? What is this, the house of style? <laughs> he said, what is this, the house of style? <laughs> Man, look, he want to get in his bag for Amy, you hear me? He want to get in his bag. My boy put the gel in, got his shirt tucked in. Look at her, dressed in her Sunday best. Hi. He's sitting there looking like a baby T-bird. My aunt was buried in one just like it. There we go. That's how it go. That's how it go. What's to learn? He's a monster. Ah, my childhood. Yes, my childhood. All right, folks, so that concludes it. That was Under Wraps. Loved it, man. Another childhood movie, but I didn't title it Childhood Movie Monday. I threw it up on a Saturday just because there was a lot of movies coming back to back on Monday. So this was a Saturday piece. This was just a regular joint to start it off. Um, shout out to all my 90s babies that grew up watching this movie. Let me know if y'all remember watching this when you were younger. How many times did you watch it? Did it freak you out when you first seen it as a kid? Or did you just always fall in love with it? Again, like I said, I am currently looking for Halloween submissions. So feel free to leave them in the comment section. Like I said, if I don't get to them this year, we always got next year, baby. We always got next year. But make sure you guys are subscribed. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Just try to get this to at least 100 likes. At least 100. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to drop the next one. And I don't know what's to come. I really don't know what's to come. But um, I really appreciate your guys' support. The community is growing. You guys have been showing me so much love. Like I said, shout out to my guy Antonio for editing this. Without him, none of this stuff would be possible. Until next week, I'll see you guys on my next movie commentary. Peace.